journey with us through the rhythm of the music business with your host, Jackie Bertoni. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Jackie's Groove. This is Jackie Bertoni. Hey, guys, it's Wednesday, June the 22nd, and it's hot, hot, hot in Southern California. And speaking of hot, that last song was called Jump Right In. And I'm going to tell you, it's I've become a new fan, a new fan of this band called the Zach Brown Band. I was introduced to them by a good friend of mine, Henry Capono in Honolulu, Hawaii, and a song they covered by Van Morrison called Free. Actually, just gave me goosebumps when I heard that song for the first time. And then I found out later on that a good friend of mine, Danny Dales Rails, was playing percussion in the group, uh, which even brought me closer to the band. And then two years ago at NAM, National Association of Music Merchants in Anaheim, California, I was introduced to my in-studio guest today. We, we, we connected like we knew each other for years. And I've been very fortunate of all uh, the interviews that I've been doing uh, thus far uh, from dear friends that I've known for 15, 20, 25 years plus. So... I'm, uh, I'm not embarrassed to say that this uh, interview today is, is a new friend. But like again, said again, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get together. We're going to make everybody familiar with this man who's not familiar with him all, you know, so far. But if uh, those who aren't familiar with the Zach Brown band, you need to get out there and patronize it. So with that said, guys, I want you to welcome with open arm and I want you to with open ears to my in-studio guest, amazing drummer from the multi-Grammy award-winning Zach Brown band. Please welcome everybody, Chris Fryer. Chris, brother Chris, how are you, brother? <laughs> I'm doing great, Jackie. It's so great to, to be a part of the show, man. Thank you for having me. Oh, man, thank you for being part of it. Like I just said earlier, man, um, you know, you and I have not known each other for that long. In fact, we met at the Gretsch booth, uh, Gretsch Drums, and uh, through a mutual friend of ours, Nick Seiwert, and, uh, and we, we connected. We hooked up, man, and I got to tell you, I'm a huge fan. We had the pleasure of coming to uh, Irvine Meadows a couple weeks ago when you guys were there playing with Zach. And when we oh, pulled yeah. in the yeah, and we pulled in the backstage area. I don't know where in the hell you were, my friend, but I thought I was at a Madonna concert. Meaning the fact that there was like I don't know ten Prevost tour buses and fourteen tractor trailers, and then I found out that you guys had actually scaled down. So, uh, oh, yeah, w- yeah. So with that, man, um, 
How are you, brother? How's everything going? Um, are we on the road? Are we in or are we out? What are we doing today? Uh, I'm actually home at this very moment, which is a good thing. Uh, we've uh, we've been trying to taking things easy this this tour season, uh, so we'll go out and and do about three or four dates out on the road, and then we uh, come back home for a couple of days. So this is the days that I'm actually home. So and and tell uh, the I'm listeners in, where home is. <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> good, good God, uh, Alabama. Yeah, so I live just uh, just outside of Birmingham, Alabama, and it is. Uh, probably not near as hot here as it uh, is over there where you're at, but uh, it, it's definitely getting pretty hot here. And, and I'm assuming you're sitting there with your beautiful babies and your gorgeous wife, Holly. Am I correct? Uh, well, yeah. My, uh, Holly, is, uh, she's uh, off uh, at work today. She has, uh, she has a job that she really loves doing, so uh, uh, she, she enjoys it, so she does it. And uh, and then our, our, our yeah, our kids are grown. So. Our, our kids are, uh, our, our daughters are uh, 25 and 21. They're they're both grown. They're both in college. So they're out of the well, house. They'll always be your babies. You know that, man. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. definitely. Hey, now, with that said, you know, Chris, educate us. Um, how old were you when you first picked up your first pair of drumsticks? And were drums your first choice of instrument? Wow. That's, uh, you know, um, so... It depends on who you ask. If you it, uh, if you ask my mother, uh, she will tell you that I was banging on pots and pans and bowls and everything right. I could make noise with when I was a, a wee tot. Um, but my very first threat was guitar. I got my first guitar when I was six years old, and my father taught me how to play a bunch of basic chords, and so we would sit around and, and play country songs. Um, he was a big fan of Willie Nelson and uh, Merle Haggard and Waylon Jennings and a lot of that outlaw country music that was happening in the right, 70s. Right. And so I would sit around and pick, you know, pick tunes with my dad. And then uh, I got my first pair of drumsticks. I was about 11, maybe 12 years old. And uh, I had joined the, uh, the <laughs> I had joined the, the junior high band. And uh, the band director had made everybody try out on all the different instruments right. and had sent, had sent me uh, home with a note that said, you know, you know, your child is best suited for clarinet. And my mom, um, having already endured one child, I have an older sister who played clarinet when she was in high school, and uh, my mom having already endured the black stick of death um, <laughs> once, had, had sent back a note that said, not happening, what else you got? And uh, <laughs> so the band director said, well, you know, he did, he did show a, a high propensity for understanding rhythm. So drums it was. And I, and I bought my first, first pair of drumsticks. And uh, I remember the very first thing I did with the pair of drumsticks, um, to, much to the amazement of myself and the band director, so I, uh, I pulled them out of the, uh, the at, the, at the time it was a plastic bag, so it was a long plastic bag that right, ran right. the length of the stick, and and uh, I literally just touched them to the drum and started playing a press roll. Really? And uh, it just it just yeah it just made sense. It's just like all of a sudden bzz, there it goes, and it just it, it everything clicked right away. And it, as they say, the rest is history. Correct? <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but. Yeah, it's certainly uh, <laughs> it's certainly been a, uh, a ride. That's for but, sure. But, but you, know, you know what is so cool? Again, just want to kind of go over a little quick things. You know, we're doing four segments here, my friend, of twelve minutes each with three minute commercials. So if I interrupt you as we start counting down the uh, uh, the hours here, forgive me. We'll pick up where we left off. So, but uh, in the last two minutes of the segment, I got to ask you a question. Do uh, you remember uh, where you were when that call came in for the audition and or? when you got the gig in the throne chair with Zach Brown? Oh, yeah. Uh, I had uh, been playing uh, this this crazy little uh, blues jam session over in Atlanta, and I had met this, uh, this guy who would come and sit in, and uh, he called me up one night. I was at, uh, I was at home, and he called me up and said, hey, man, you want to you, you wanna audition for this, this guy I know? 
his name's Zach Brown, and he needs a drummer. And I, I gave him your number already. And I was like, oh, dude, that's awesome. I would love to. And I had actually heard uh, had heard Zach and the guys play. Right, right. And um, so I knew that they were a really good band, and, and, and it seemed like something I would really love to be a part of. And then, uh, you know, with a handful of days later, I get a call to go audition. I learned all the music. I had about 24 hours, actually less than 24 hours, to learn uh, everything. And what, uh, year, what year was this? This was in uh, this was February of 2008. So, um, and, 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 and just def- by chance, you know, things had just wrapped up with uh, and gone to uh, sort of permanent hiatus with the previous band I was with, O'Teal and the Peacemakers. Right, right. Uh, with O'Teal Burbridge. And uh, so it's just like the, the, you know, the closing of one opportunity or one door closing and another one op- opening up, you know. So it was, uh, it was really interesting. And the guys, you know, I went over and auditioned, and they just, they, they keep calling me, man. They keep calling me, and I'm going to keep showing up. I love playing with those guys. Those guys Absolutely. make incredible and, music. And Christopher, do me a favor. We're rolling down right now. I want to pick this up because I find this intriguing. I want to find out exactly where and what status Zach was back in 2008 when you joined the band as opposed to what he is currently. So with that said, you guys don't go anywhere. We're going to come back on segment number two with my in-studio guest, drummer from Zach Brown's band, Mr. Chris Fry. And we're brought to you by the Intertalk Radio Network, your music insider. This is Jackie Bertoni and Jackie's Groove. Don't go anywhere. We're just starting out. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com Have you ever wondered what it's like to record on a Grammy award-winning album? Have you ever wondered what it's like to play in front of a stadium crowd? Have you ever wondered what it's like to be on a world tour? I'm Jackie Bertoni, and I've played with the who's who in the music industry, and I've toured the world. Come join my world behind the velvet rope and get into the groove on Jackie's Groove. Live 2 p.m. Mondays and available 24-7 on Jackie'sGroove.com. Which sandwich is healthy and tasty? Which sandwich can come on bread or in a bowl? Which sandwich comes 51 different ways so it's always your way? A which which sandwich? Stop into our shop in Hazard Center. We're upstairs from the Hazard Center Digiplex. Bring in your movie ticket. We will add a free drink and chips to your sandwich order. Or order online at whichwitch.com and we will have it ready and waiting. W-H-I-C-H-W-I-C-H. Whichwitch.com. Hi, I'm Tim Dolbear, the host of Sound Experience on Intertalk Radio. Each week, I talk with top professional audio engineers, producers, musicians, and the manufacturers that make the tools that we use in the studio each and every day. From capturing the perfect take to mastering your final release and the tools and how the pros use them, we are going to dive deep into their process and learn from their experience. I look forward to you joining us each week on Sound Experience with me, your host, Tim Dolbear. Hey, it's Catherine from Listen Local Radio. Moe's Guitars has proudly served the San Diego music community since 1975. Specializing in guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, and ukuleles, they buy, sell, trade, and consign. If you're looking for lessons, repairs, accessories, and cool gear, you found the right place. Located in downtown La Mesa Village, stop by and check out their digs or visit moesguitars.com or their Facebook page, mozeguitars.com, 619-698-1185. Hi, this is Tim Dolbear, host of Sound Experience here on Intertalk Radio. And Source Connect by Source Element is the essential tool that we use to link between my studio in Austin, Texas, and the WS radio station in San Diego. Now, with Source Connect, not only can we communicate in real time and with HD audio, but it's synced up and is of a high enough quality that I can use it for real time ADR work, remote recording, and overdubbing. And it even allows me to remotely control a DAW. Source Connect by Source Element, affordable, high quality audio and video connection over the internet for all of your production needs. Welcome to Jackie's Groove. 
Come journey with us through the rhythm of the music business with your host, Jackie Bertoni. I'm telling you, if you weren't bobbing your head like I was right now, I don't know what the hell's going on with you people. Hey, guys, Jackie Bertoni, Jackie's Groove. We're back. Second segment of four. One-hour interview with my in-studio guest, Mr. Chris Fryer, holding the drum throne with this amazing country rock band called the Zach Brown Band. Hey, Chris, welcome back, brother. Thank you. Thank you hey, so man. much for having me. Man, you know, I got to tell you, I was, you know, we had a really busy day that Saturday, and we came and interviewed Danny. Uh, De Los Reyes, um, uh, at uh, the Irvine Meadows or Verizon Amphitheater or whatever they're calling it down. Once again, they're tearing another venue down in California. Oh, yeah. You know, it's it's a sick thing, but, you know, well, well, you know, I digress. So with that said, I was really, really wanting to hear and see the show, but we had uh, we had uh, we were being beckoned to the Newport Beach Jazz Festival and my old oh, boss wow. doing it. Yeah, doing an interview with uh, my dear friend, my old boss, Mr. Michael McDonald. So he's he's to blame. He's to blame, brother. So um but we'll definitely catch you guys on the backside. So, you know, when we, when we, when we got off the last segment, I was intrigued because we talked about uh, when you joined Zach Brown or when you were asked to audition for him back in 2008. Is it safe to assume the fact that Zach Brown at 2008 is nowhere near the Zach Brown of 2016? That, I, that would be a very safe assumption. Um, you, you know, when I joined the band, I, I didn't even know that there was negotiations going on for record deals and and uh, radio promotion of a single, and right. and uh, all I knew, literally, when uh, when Zach called me up and said, "Hey, I want you to be the the guy in the drum chair," uh, I, I asked him three questions, very simply. I said, "Okay, uh, can you keep me busy?" To which he kind of chuckles and laughs and goes, "Yeah, man." And I said, "Great." Question number two: Can you pay me a little something so I can get my bills paid? And he just <laughs> chuckles and laughs and goes, "Yeah." I I can do that. And I was like, great. Third question, what time does the bus leave? I don't and, love it. Uh, that was it. I was, I was in. That's all I needed to know was that we were just going to stay busy and that I might make a little bit of money to, to pay bills with. And uh, I was in. You know, from I, your, and, yeah, man. I, As they say, from your lips to God's ears. You know, when we were there at the show, uh, Danny took us out on the, uh, the stage, this multi-level, uh, multi-tiered stage, the setup. And, and I was really, really looking forward to it because – in the earlier videos, um, and, um, and Danny soon told me that day that it changed, I wanted to see that drum percussion break that you guys would tear and just literally behead the audience with this craziness, and even Zach would come up with a djembe. And then Danny unfortunately said, well, things have changed. Um, they stopped doing that, but little by little they were coming back into it, but not as fierce as it was before with the two of you guys. And for the listeners out there, go, go to uh, YouTube. And uh, and type in Zach Brown, Danny De Los Reyes, and Chris Fryer, uh, percussion drum break. It, you, it's gonna be hard pressed to believe that it was a country rock show that you were watching there. So um, <laughs> yeah, I lo- I loved it, man. Do you miss do you miss that breakout and doing that with them? Or uh, you guys are eking back into it? Uh, I I do miss it. You know, it's a lot of fun, especially when you can play something. You know, because the, the whole thing was not overly rehearsed. We had certain certain little things that we would do together. Right. That were very tightly rehearsed, 
Um, and so there were little musical cues that Danny and I would give each other through the course of a, of a solo that would let the other one know, hey, this is where I'm at, this is where I'm going. And uh, so then we would play things together in unison, we'd play things separately, you know, and they'd be able to express on our own. Oh, it was beautiful. Uh, I miss doing that. Um, but, you know, we can't, we, we can't do the same thing of course. all the time. You know, we want our fans to stay interested, and and you know, it'll it'll uh it'll come back around. We're just now getting back around and having <laughs> having drum solos again. <laughs> well, you you know, we we talked and uh, touched on this a little bit. I want to jump in here. You know, speaking of uh, time and how long you've been with the band, we've got that figured out already. Eight years and running. Yeah. Um, but what is the average time on the road that you guys hang with uh, with Zach on a good long leg? Oh man, you know, I mean it's. Do you mean in terms of like hanging out with Zach? No, the oh, actual I mean, time. There's the actual time that you're traveling. What's the longest you've guys? What's the longest stint that you've been out? Oh man, uh, maybe two weeks, two That's and a half bad. weeks. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And and that was that was uh that was going that was going overseas to uh, Australia, and uh, I think we did like a week and a half. It's like a ten day thing in uh, the UK a couple of years, few years back. So. Uh, yeah, most of it's just it, usually where we go out, it's literally two to four days and uh, out on the road a week. And and then once a month, we have one weekend off. You know, right. just, we, we do that uh, trying to just keep our sanity. We, we all have families at home, you know. And there's, and there's no place like home. You know, Chris, I got to tell you, man, which I'm, uh, I love and I was envious of a, uh, of a country crowd. Um, I did an album um, numerous, uh, probably about a good solid 10, 11 years ago. Uh, with a small group called the Beach Boys, and uh, and the uh, album, was, yeah. Yeah, the al- the album was called Stars and Stripes, Volume One and Volume Two, and uh, it was basically the surf meets the turf. They brought in Vince Gill and and Lori Morgan and Sawyer Brown and Willie Nelson and uh, Timothy B. Schmidt. The list goes down the line, and I had the uh, the pleasure of actually doing all the percussion work on that album. What I was amazed at is when we went to this big festival called Fanfare. And I don't oh, know yeah. if fan, and I'm assuming it's still going on right now. And guys, trust me out there, this is the, uh, what the rock and roll and the funk and the R&B industry can learn from. This is where the actual artists are out in a big, huge arena where you can actually, without having to pay a dollar figure to get an autograph or a photograph, where the stars are actually meeting and thanking their, their, their fans, you know, one-on-one. Have you experienced that at all, my brother? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh... They changed the name from uh, Fanfare to uh, CMA Fest, um, so the Country Music Association got uh, deeply involved, and um, they still do that though. And uh, it's a great way for the young and up up and coming artists to uh, have a way to showcase their talents, and, and also a way for a lot of the established artists to right. remind their fans, "Hey, I'm still here," and uh, it, it's it's amazing. It's it's really it's a if you haven't been, you need to go. It's it's an incredibly good time. Hey, Chris, how many band members in Zach? Uh, we have eight official band members, but uh, the past uh, the last year and this year, we've added uh, two singers and three horn players. It's been amazing. Really, <laughs> horns, horns. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's you know that's incredible because. Again, just the stuff that I've seen, again, online, I've been not fortunate enough to see you guys live, and, I'm, and, and we definitely will, our paths will cross. Um, it, it's a powerhouse show, man. I mean, it's like, again, just, just the outlook, just the back screens and everything else and the, and the quality of musicians that share that stage. In fact, the thing I love about Zach and the band, you guys welcome a lot of guys on stage uh, in the way of, I hate to use the term sitting in, but joining in. Uh, not too long ago, you had a great violin player, um, a Latin cat. I don't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, Carlos. Carlos? Yeah, mm-hmm. man. And uh, that was, I mean, that was just, just his solo and his trade-offs between uh, Zach and him were pretty impressive, just at least what I saw on the, uh, on the vibe itself from the audience. You know, and uh, the, the whole vibe with Zach Brown is kind of bridging the gap in between rock and roll, country rock, you know, as, you know, the old standard size uh, situations. Not so much the, the deep set, you know, uh, Hank Williams and, and the like. But, you know, you right. guys have inspired so many different groups out there and so many different fans. Let me ask you this question. Who's inspired Chris Fryer musically? Oh, man. That's a, 
that's a long – we don't have enough time to get go down that list. But well, we, uh, have, we have an hour and 15 seconds – I mean a minute and 15 seconds, and we'll pick that up on the next segment. So tell me, who, who inspires you? Well, you know, um, I've been a huge fan of, uh, of Sting. Uh, oh, absolutely. For, for a long, long time. He's just an uh, amazing songwriter, and I, I always get inspired um, when I hear any of his music. And he's also had some of the greatest drummers alive – to be part of his band. Uh, God, uh, who else? Uh, I mean, you know, it's all the great singers and songwriters right now. I'm, I'm infatuated with, uh, Harry Nielsen. Um, really? Yeah. Oh man. What a genius that guy was. Wow. Really well, inspiring. In, you know, it's amazing. And again, what's inspiring right now is that we're going to get more of that information out of you. What is this, you know, disgruntling right now we're running out of time on this segment so we're going to pick it up i want to find out more you know, what's in your ipod or whatever's in your uh, your iphone in the way of music <laughs> and so on if i was to uh, if i was to kidnap that so you guys don't go anywhere we're going to be right back after this uh, this break i'm going in from two to three with my in-studio guest mr chris fryer the legendary uh, drummer all-around good guy with this beautiful <laughs> band called the zach brown band so you guys don't go anywhere we'll be right back we're going to pick this up where we left off Many, many, many more good stories in, 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 in the uh, pipeline. I'll learn how to talk when I come back, I promise you. Don't go anywhere. This is Jackie Bertoni, Jackie's Groove. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Catherine from Listen Local Radio. Moe's Guitars has proudly served the San Diego music community since 1975. Specializing in guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, and ukuleles, they buy, sell, trade, and consign. If you're looking for lessons, repairs, accessories, and cool gear, you found the right place. Located in downtown La Mesa Village, stop by and check out their digs or visit mosguitars.com or their Facebook page, mozeguitars.com, 619-698-1185. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. Hi, this is Tim Dolbear, host of Sound Experience here on Intertalk Radio. And Source Connect by Source Element is the essential tool that we use to link between my studio in Austin, Texas, and the WS radio station in San Diego. Now, with Source Connect, not only can we communicate in real time and with HD audio, but it's synced up and is of a high enough quality that I can use it for real time ADR work, remote recording, and overdubbing. And it even allows me to remotely control a DAW. Source Connect by Source Element, affordable, high quality audio and video connection over the internet for all of your production needs. Have you ever wondered what it's like to record on a Grammy award-winning album? Have you ever wondered what it's like to play in front of a stadium crowd? Have you ever wondered what it's like to be on a world tour? I'm Jackie Bertoni, and I've played with the who's who in the music industry, and I've toured the world. Come join my world behind the velvet rope and get into the groove on Jackie's Groove. Live 2 p.m. Mondays and available 24-7 on jackiesgroove.com. Has your business been appified? Are you tired of doing marketing that doesn't deliver results? Mobile apps build loyalty and quality retention. Your app from UPG Mobile puts your business on their mind and at their fingertips. UPG Mobile will give you a custom app highlighting how you are unique, targeting your message, and improving your open rates. Appify your business and amplify your presence with your customers at upgmobilemarketinggroup.com. Hi, I'm Tim Dolbear, the host of Sound Experience on Intertalk Radio. Each week, I talk with top professional audio engineers, producers, musicians, and the manufacturers that make the tools that we use in the studio each and every day. From capturing the perfect take to mastering your final release and the tools and how the pros use them, we are going to dive deep into their process and learn from their experience. I look forward to you joining us each week on Sound Experience with me, your host, Tim Dolbear. Jackie's Groove. Come 
Come journey with us through the rhythm of the music business with your host, Jackie Bertoni. Zach Brown channeling the uh, the voice and vibe of Mr. Harry Connick Jr. Of course, I, I kid when I say that. Amazing, man. Amazing. Hey, everybody, this is Jackie Bertoni. You're tuned into Jackie's Groove on the Intertalk Radio Network. We are your music insider. And I want to take a couple seconds to tell everybody out there, do yourselves a favor and go on to Apple uh, applications and or Google Play for Android and download our free, easy-to-use navigate application. Two words, Intertalk first. Radio Second, take us on the go wherever you go. And also, too, to all of our amazing sponsors who keep this crazy ship afloat, our dear friends of ours over at SIR, Studio Instrument Rentals. I'm sure Chris has used them many a time. and it's, uh, You can visit them at sir-usa.com. And also Pitbull Audio. Uh, but they just want you to play it loud. Reach them at pitbullaudio.com. And uh, my sponsors that really near and dear to my heart, first starting off with uh, Vader Drumsticks, who I've been with for going on 20 years. Reach them at Vader.com. And two of the ones I'm most biased to. Our newest, DW Drums at DWDrums.com. And all of our friends there, John and Derek and Don. Man, thank you for, thank you for bringing this, uh, this love of percussion back to the drumming world. And also to um, my guys, LP Music. And that's LPMusic.com and uh, Jerry Zacharias and Terry and, and the gang. So with that said, guys, you know what? Uh, and after this broadcast, give yourself about an hour off if you can. And at 2 o'clock, sign back on to intertalkradio.com and listen to my good friend of mine, John J.R. Robinson, and his show called uh, Vinyl Night, where he's interviewing the amazing keyboard player, Greg Fillingaines for Michael Jackson, and the list goes down the line. So with that said, business is done and out of the way, and we are back at the task at hand, talking to my good buddy of mine, Chris Fryer. Chris, you know, we left off, and we talked about Zach and so on and the craziness that ensues in that. But you know, I wanted to, uh, to ask you a question. You know, when you spend this long and length of time on the road with your buddies, even though if it's only two, two and a half weeks, do you want to share with the listeners out there some, maybe some anecdotes that they can't read about in Modern Drummer Magazine, funny stories <laughs> that, uh, that are safe to talk about that you just kind of touched your heart? Well, I mean, oh, gosh, man, there's just so many goofy things that happen, you know, because we're all just a bunch of, you know, we're all a bunch of kids at heart and, you know, we get out there and we have fun and we love doing what we do. Uh, there's so many like little things that just, you know, that fall under the category of, well, you know, you kind of had to be there for it to be super funny. Exactly. Uh, (laughs) you know, one of the interesting things that happens, you know, when you have, you know, eight guys in the band and, and everybody comes from a different musical sort of influence. Right. Um, when we do like kind of complex arrangements of songs, uh, like "Heavy as the Head," there's middle sections of that of that tune in particular where almost everybody in the entire band was counting that section in a totally different way. And how so, so? When we get to, <laughs> I mean, it was because some are basing it off of how the guitar riff is played, you know. So they're they're right. like you know. There's a guitar thing, da do do da do do da do do, and so like they're counting it as one two three one two three one two three one two one two one two three. You know they're counting it right. that way, and, and I'm trying to figure out. You know, and I'm I'm just like putting it where the you know where everything kind of flows together. I'm counting in four, and then you know only adding in extra little bits here and there to just to tie it all up together. You know, but that that's one of the most interesting things that that happens to us as a band is we'll get into a recording situation 
and everybody's talking about the exact same spot in the music, but everyone's got a different name, a different thing for it. You of know, course. it's like, yeah. So it's like, oh man, you know, that bar 32 of that 15, eight section. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, you know, it's so cool too, is uh, when you're on stage, um, let's go to live situations and everybody, you know, they're doing the, uh, they're doing the trigonometry, trying to figure out where everybody else is. And I just love that vibe on stage where everybody, in, that I'm even, not even looking at the audience, are looking at each other going, wow, are we actually doing this? And as you're playing the song, and there's that, there's that unwritten uh, law of that smile of sarcasm when someone either screws up on the tune or plays it right. You know? and, it's, uh, and then again, too, I've learned over the years, if you, excuse my French, if you fuck up on a part of the song, when you come back, fuck up again. You know, and, oh, man, and the yeah. same and the same place. You know, it kind of throws the Do audience twice. off. Do Absolutely, it but it becomes part of the arrangement, man. <laughs> hey, you know, a, you know, a, blo- a broken clock is right twice a t- you know, twice a day anyway. So as they say, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so so you get up in the morning, you're on the road. Um, you know, uh-huh. and people don't realize the fact that there's there's really no glamour in this thing we call the music business. I mean, it's a lot of hurry up and wait, and the glamour doesn't oh, yeah. start until till the lights go on, and then it doesn't you know, and then basically it picks up. And by the time you're done, everybody wants to do these meet and greets. And, you know, if you want to be humble and stuff, you shake hands. But a lot of guys just want to go home. They want to go back in the bus. They want to go back to the hotel. They want to just get ready for the next day. So with that said, wake, take us with you in the morning. When you wake up, let's say um, whatever the bus call is, how does Chris get his day going? How do you get yourself motivated for that task at hand? Well, I mean, uh, I literally, you know, I roll out of the bunk and uh, – and because we take the you know the bus everywhere between shows, right. and so I'll roll out of the bunk. Um, you know, I have to you know walk around, figure out where things are in the venue. So I have to figure out where catering is to eat some right. breakfast, and then where the the dressing room is because I'll need to, a shower at some point. Right. And uh, it, it's pretty much for me. It's it, it's just I, I find catering, and then I figure out where we are in the the, the process of loading in. Um, I'm very hands-on, um, not out of any other thing other than I just I really love doing it. Right. right. Um, so when Sean Preto, uh, our, our drum tech, is you know when he's putting things together on the on the drum riser, you know I'm usually I try to go and help him, or if I want to you know change the heads, I like I'll change them myself. Uh, I love doing it. And now, is, uh, is Sean the uh, gentleman I met? Is that the same one? Does does he do Danny's uh, rig also? Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah the, yeah, the shorter guy with the beard? Yeah, it looks like Jesus yeah. with sunglasses. Yeah, man. Actually, I said a sign of the cross as I walked past him, but, but he wasn't walking on water. So, uh, <laughs> But, no, really, really nice cat. In fact, I got a really good shot of him, Danny, and myself. You know, And that's good that you're on there because even though these guys are paid to make sure that everything is fine, it's always good to walk up if you can without the audience knowing that you're there and just to make sure that everything is tweaked to the way you want it. And, yeah. uh, I mean, I mean, it is you. I mean, these, these drum techs well, are like... They're like basketball, excuse me, like they're like tennis ball retrievers. They're there, you know, in that in that launch position of anything should drop, anything should go on. So they're there, and we have to gratefully thank them because these cats are there before we're there. They're there during while we're doing performance, and they're there after we leave. So we've got to yeah. give them the kudos, man. These guys are they're our saviors. You know, and Chris, question, uh, good question for you. When you um, are up on stage um, with this large of a venue, I ask this to a lot of performers, um, do you prefer in-air or do you prefer wedges? I prefer for, for the large venues. I prefer in ears. I can just I can get much more clarity um, out of hearing what I need to hear, and a lot less of just random noise. So you know, uh, like if a guitar amp is too loud because right. of the, just the where it's sitting in that particular room, that particular venue. You know, sometimes a guitar amp will get loud, or um, you know, you've got one tom tom that's just really speaking really loud, right. or one frequency in a crash symbol that's just getting away from you. You know, I prefer having in ears because I can control a lot of that. Um, you know, I, I enjoy it, I, but I don't use I don't use any of those seat rumblers or anything like that because I, you know, I, I just I run my mix very very quiet, comparatively okay. speaking. Uh- and that's a good question. The question is, what don't you want in your ears when you're performing? Um, you, you know, I like that. I, I, oddly enough, I, I run my mix the way I, I run my mix the way it, it would sound to me if I didn't have in uh, any in ears and no right. wedges, and I'm playing in a nightclub. 
So I would hear like the drum kit pretty loud. I would hear the, the lead singer and their instrument pretty loud because that would be coming out of a wedge, you know, and then everything right. else kind of staggered mix wise and, and stereo panning, you know, uh, I just kind of, I kind of run it, I approach it that way and it, it you know, just turn down the volume and just <laughs> have fun with it. Hey, you know, Nick, here's a question I just kind of it just kind of popped in my head. Since these huge venues that you're doing, these arena size, and when I say arena size, to me that's anything that's over ten thousand people. Um, with that said, do you does Zach does the band prefer a solo performance or do you welcome a supporting act? Uh, it just depends, you know, because uh, an opening act, you 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 uh, you, you kind of. You know, you're you're helping somebody else get established, and right, right. you know they're, you know, at, at the same time, you know, if we can if we can sell out a big venue by ourselves and and get to exactly. play for three hours, man, that's like I'm I'm down. I want to play for I want to play all night. You know. Hey. Hey, Chris, speaking of three hours, um, we don't have that. We have 15 seconds left in this segment. We're going to go on the final stretch. <laughs> uh, I want everybody to fi- um, let everybody know where they can find you, where they can stalk you, where they can find Zach, et cetera. So when we pick it up on the last segment of a uh, one-hour interview with my in-studio guest, Chris Fryer, from the multi-Grammy award-winning Zach Brown Band. If you guys have any questions, email me at interviews at uh, jackiesgroove.com, and I'll see if I can get to those questions. Guys, don't go anywhere. Last one, back with Chris Fryer from Zach Brown, Jackie Bertoni, Jackie's Groove. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned, brother. Jump right in. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tim Dolbear, the host of Sound Experience on Intertalk Radio. Each week, I talk with top professional audio engineers, producers, musicians, and the manufacturers that make the tools that we use in the studio each and every day. From capturing the perfect take to mastering your final release and the tools and how the pros use them, we are going to dive deep into their process and learn from their experience. I look forward to you joining us each week on Sound Experience with me, your host, Tim Dolbear. Hi, this is Tim Dolbear, host of Sound Experience here on Intertalk Radio. And Source Connect by Source Element is the essential tool that we use to link between my studio in Austin, Texas, and the WS radio station in San Diego. Now, with Source Connect, not only can we communicate in real time and with HD audio, but it's synced up and is of a high enough quality that I can use it for real time ADR work, remote recording, and overdubbing. And it even allows me to remotely control a DAW. Source Connect by Source Element, affordable, high quality audio and video connection over the internet for all of your production needs. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, CEO and founder of VinVillage.com and the Wine and Dine Show on Vin Village Radio. Do you have a wine, event, product, or service to promote? Then contact VinVillage.com to reach thousands of wine lovers across the country. Vin Village connects like-minded wine enthusiasts with unique and exclusive wines, events, products, and services. To learn more, contact us on VinVillage.com. Vin Village is where wine lovers connect. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio, to sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. Hey, it's Catherine from Listen Local Radio. Moe's Guitars has proudly served the San Diego music community since 1975. Specializing in guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, and ukuleles, they buy, sell, trade, and consign. If you're looking for lessons, repairs, accessories, and cool gear, you've found the right place. Located in downtown La Mesa Village, stop by and check out their digs or visit moesguitars.com or their Facebook page, mozeguitars.com, 619-698-1185. Have you ever wondered what it's like to record on a Grammy award-winning album? Have you ever wondered what it's like to play in front of a stadium crowd? Have you ever wondered what it's like to be on a world tour? I'm Jackie Bertoni, and I've played with the who's who in the music industry, and I've toured the world. Come join my world behind the velvet rope and get into the groove on Jackie's Groove. Live 2 p.m. Mondays and available 24-7 on Jackie'sGroove.com. Jackie's Groove. 
Come journey with us through the rhythm of the music business with your host, Jackie Bertoni. Welcome back. This is Jackie Bertoni and Jackie's Groove. You know what, man? Today I feel like the whitest guy on Soul Train. I cannot get into my groove, man. And with that said, let's talk about the man who grooves, the gentleman I have online right now. We'll definitely fix this in the mix, I promise you. Chris Fryer from Zach Brown. Hey, Chris, I'm going to get right into this. You know, it's so funny. My, my spiel, my shtick on this whole vibe is I usually have um, band members and or the notables call in. Um, I, I wanted to surprise you today with your bandmate, my dear friend, Danny Reyes. But uh, Danny called me just on that break and told me that he sends his love, man, but right now he's, he's forcing himself to pass a kidney stone. And, uh, and, and that's – and he goes – and he goes – and the irony of it, he goes, think about it, Jackie. He goes, you're doing an interview. He goes, I'm pissing. And I, and I said, well, he goes, he goes, it could be worse. I said, yeah, we both could be getting a colonoscopy. So, um, you know, so what, you know, at our ages by all means. So and sorry about that glitch, brother boy. Welcome back. Hey, man, last segment. I'm, I've got the uh, I've got my partner, I'm the CEO on the back line, going. We're on, Jackie. We're on. We're on, and uh, so we are on. And uh, so the bottom line is, hey man, let me ask you this question. You know, I asked you about you know uh, who inspired you and so on. Do you have a bucket list that you know if you can just choose one artist that you really would love to work with? And you already mentioned Sting, but think really deep. Was Sting the ultimate bucket list that you'd want to work with, or who is that? Wow, you know. You know what? There is, there's definitely a bucket list, um, and, and I think at the top of that list is Sting. Right. Uh, but there are other guys that I would love to work with as well, guys like Michael McDonald and Kenny Loggins. Um, yeah, man. I would love to do some work with James Taylor. Um, you know, well, he just, he just went out, by the way. With, uh, yeah. Um, I, I would love to do some more work with uh, – uh, you know, with, with Zach and the guys in the band, I mean, those guys are all heroes to me. Um, Crazy. You know, yeah. It's. I mean, I just, I love working with those guys. It's it's amazing. I'm truly blessed. Truly and brother, blessed. And while you have some time off, if you have any time, you know, go back onto my website, jackiesgroove.com, and uh, go to the episodes of the man and, and check out the interview I did with Michael and his wife, Amy, uh, from the uh, Newport Jazz Festival. Great, great interview. In fact, I've got to be doing a another interview with Michael, a uh, two-hour one like I normally do on someone of his stature, and, uh, and again, he's not only is he an amazing musician and basically played the sound and escapes, you know, soundtracks of our lives, but he's also just one of the most humble cats you're ever going to meet. You know, and speaking of humble cats, you're not talking to him, but the one you're going to talk to, I want to bring on um, the CEO of Entertalk Radio. He's a big fan of Zach's, uh, and uh, he wants to say hi to you, and I want you to say hi to Tino. Tino, say hi to Chris. Chris, say hi to Tino. Hey, what's up, Chris? Hey, Tino, how are you? Oh, it's good, man, except for I'm not the guy to be behind the board. Our normal guy is out on location today, and uh, Jackie got stuck with me. And uh, as I was uh, trying to cue up something else, that song got uncued. So I apologize, but we will fix it in the mix. That's how yeah, we man, do it. And, and, and Paul is out. Good, yeah, Paul's out in Sweetwater. He just finished up with Sweetwater. I'm sure you're very familiar with that situation. So wow, very cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's we, very cool. We, we were there with Jr. We we did a, a live broadcast of his uh, blue uh, 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 exhibition of miking techniques in the studio. So it was pretty cool. And, oh, very cool. Yeah, man. I was. You know what? I, I just want to say I'm. I was hugely impressed when I went to see uh, the show. You gave you gave me hope, man, because uh, we we haven't seen that mag. I haven't seen that magnitude of tour for one band in a long time. Usually, you'll see festivals or you'll see Hello? like multi multi. Uh, uh, Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, we we, we were really impressed by, by the tour, tour. Oh, did we lose him? Can you can you hear us, hey. Chris? Chris, 
Now, I don't know what that what that's all about. Today is Gremlin Day. Mm-mm-mm. Gremlin Mm-mm. Day. Well, I'm going to keep talking up until you want to see if we can get him back on the line, Tino. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. What Hello? Are you there, Christopher? If you guys are there, I can't hear anything. <laughs> Chris. Keep talking, Jackie. I'll get all right, so we're going to see if we can get it back on the line here. So if this is all new equipment that we're dealing with, friends, and uh, and this is part about growing at the leaps and bounds that we're growing on. So let me see if I can fill up this last few minutes because i got to get Chris back on the line, and i got to get Chris um, uh, to talk about where he can be reached and how you can reach him through social media and such. So with that said, guys, you know, i got come some very, very cool shows coming up on Jackie's Groove. And also, too, please uh, sign in to intertalkradio.com. And look at the plethora of shows that we have on board and the shows that will be coming on board and, um, and for all types of gearheads, music lovers, and such. And then, too, I've got coming up next week uh, one of my dear friends, an amazing drummer, uh, one of the founding members of the Tower of Power, and uh, David Garibaldi. So he'll be up on board um, very soon also. And we've got uh, uh, Eddie Menenfield from uh, Sheila E. and uh, Prince's Band on sax. And we've got... Um, Kenny Ornoff coming up. Uh, the list goes down the line. So, with that said, um, hopefully, fingers crossed that Chris will be coming back. Chris on the is line back here. on, sir. Hey, yeah, Chris. I'm back on. Where, where in the hell did you go, brother? I don't know, man. The, the the perils of modern technology. All of a sudden, things just went silent. Well, you know, and as I was telling the listeners itself, you know, we're growing by leaps and bounds. We have all new equipment, so we're, you know, we're 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 we're, we're rifling through things. So. With that said, Tino, tell us how we can stalk Chris and ask about that. Yeah. Hey, Chris, man, uh, I was impressed. I want everybody who doesn't know Zach Brown, but I think everybody does. Uh, if they don't know you, man, I, I want them to know how, can, how they can get a hold of you personally, like, uh, you know, your Facebook, your social media, as well as all the fun Zach Brown, uh, you know, social media. Oh, wow. Well, so there's uh, ZachBrownBand.com as the, uh, the website for the band. Uh, and then... Um, uh, then there's uh, Facebook. Uh, I, you can get me on there. I, I'm, I show up as Chris A. Fryer, um, C-H-R-I-S-A-F-R-Y-A-R. And then uh, on Twitter, Chris Fryer, Z-B-B, uh, is my handle on Twitter. And, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I can be found. <laughs> Stalking uh, people. Know, I, I, I'm not too. Uh, I'm not too savvy on the uh, the whole social media thing, but, but uh, you know I, I wanna, do my best. Chris and Olson, just give a uh, proper shout out to. Um, uh, I know you're playing Gretsch drums. If you're still playing Gretsch, who's um, who's who's the wood in your hands and the cymbals, et cetera? You want to give a quick oh, shout out? Oh my goodness, yeah, Vic Firth drumsticks. Those guys are absolutely amazing. I've been playing my first pair of sticks I ever bought were Vic Firth, and uh, I still play them. I love them, love them, love them. Zilch and cymbals. Gretsch drums, Gibraltar hardware, Evans Dreads, um, th- just all amazing companies. Um, I can't say enough good things about how how great all these companies are and how what a wonderful job they do taking care of me and, and my needs. They're amazing. Yeah, and that, that's the bottom line because the bottom line is people are seeing you in front of these uh, these mass crowds. And, you know, people aren't always going just to see Zach. They're going to go see the individual musicians also, and that's why – these major drum companies, stick companies, cymbal companies, and the like, you know, definitely lend uh, their um, services to us as we lend our likeness. So with that said, you guys, do yourselves a favor, man. Go overdose on Zach Brown Band like I have. And, uh, and then also check out, you know, this thing called YouTube. And if you can't make it to a show, definitely make it to some type of a venue or some type of a social media that you can check out Chris Fryer and the Zach Brown Band. And, Chris, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, man. Again, I'm, I do apologize for the gremlins that did ensue today, but you know what? You know nothing. You know, no foul, no harm. So we'll go yeah, for it. Any, Everybody any else, any landing you can walk away from. That's what I say. Absolutely. Everybody, I want you guys to say goodbye to my in studio guest today, Mr. Chris Fryer from the multi Grammy award winning band, the Zach Brown Band. So you guys, with that said, we'll talk to you all soon. Christopher, thank you so much for joining us. We love you, brother, and uh, oh, we'll talk you. soon, guys. And as I always say, the magic words. Peace through music. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.
Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com Have you ever wondered what it's like to record on a Grammy award-winning album? Have you ever wondered what it's like to play in front of a stadium crowd? Have you ever wondered what it's like to be on a world tour? I'm Jackie Bertoni, and I've played with the who's who in the music industry, and I've toured the world. Come join my world behind the velvet rope and get into the groove on Jackie's Groove. Live 2 p.m. Mondays and available 24-7 on Jackie'sGroove.com. Hey, it's Catherine from Listen Local Radio. Moe's Guitars has proudly served the San Diego music community since 1975. Specializing in guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, and ukuleles, they buy, sell, trade, and consign. If you're looking for lessons, repairs, accessories, and cool gear, you've found the right place. Located in downtown La Mesa Village, stop by and check out their digs or visit moesguitars.com or their Facebook page, mozeguitars.com, 619-698-1185. Hi, this is Tim Dolbear, host of Sound Experience here on InterTalk Radio. And Source Connect by Source Element is the essential tool that we use to link between my studio in Austin, Texas, and the WS radio station in San Diego. Now, with Source Connect, not only can we communicate in real time and with HD audio, but it's synced up and is of a high enough quality that I can use it for real time ADR work, remote recording, and overdubbing, and it even allows me to remotely control a DAW. Source Connect by Source Element, affordable, high quality audio and video connection over the internet for all of your production needs. Hi, I'm Tim Dolbear, the host of Sound Experience on InterTalk Radio. Each week, I talk with top professional audio engineers, producers, musicians, and the manufacturers that make the tools that we use in the studio each and every day. From capturing the perfect take to mastering your final release and the tools and how the pros use them, we are going to dive deep into their process and learn from their experience. I look forward to you joining us each week on Sound Experience with me, your host, Tim Dolbear. Which sandwich is healthy and tasty? Which sandwich can come on bread or in a bowl? Which sandwich comes 51 different ways so it's always your way? A which which sandwich? Stop into our shop in Hazard Center. We're upstairs from the Hazard Center Digiplex. Bring in your movie ticket. We will add a free drink and chips to your sandwich order. Or order online at whichwhich.com and we will have it ready and waiting. W-H-I-C-H-W-I-C-H. Whichwhich.com. 